welcome back to my channel, Chelsea and Family. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Chelsea and I am a mom of four. And I just recently started doing videos again. I was doing them for a while and then just so much went on with having a baby and moving to a new state and then moving into two different places once we got to the, our new state and just a lot went on and it was all really overwhelming and hard to adjust to so I kind of paused doing videos for a while but I am back and I want to get back into the flow of things and if you're new to my channel um, on my channel I have had pregnancy content I've had motherhood content shopping hauls uh, lots of clean with me's and uh, just like kind of end of the night like cleaning routines and uh, things like that so um, the next video that I am doing is like I said a Costco haul so I wanted to show you guys what I got okay so here is a view of everything that I got And then I got some drinks down here as well. So I'll start on this side. This is all my produce and stuff. So I have broccoli because I'm going to do beef and broccoli for a dinner this week. And I got some heads of romaine because we are going to do um, some ravioli along with a salad. So I bought that to make a salad with and um, with being four months postpartum I'm really trying to eat healthier um, just take in more nutrients uh, replace some that I have lost during my pregnancy and now with nursing and so I'm just trying to take in a lot healthier things and uh, I also got some strawberries my kids blow through str strawberries so fast and as well as um, watermelon. We have been getting these watermelons from Costco like all summer long and I was surprised to see them there because the last time I was at Costco I didn't see these watermelons. I know they're kind of going out of season but um, I have been obsessed with watermelon and tahini. It was like my favorite summer snack and I'm still like addicted to it so um, I'm really happy to have seen those watermelons. I did not get a single bad watermelon with these all summer long. So I am I have high hopes for these. I did buy a watermelon last night and it ended up just like not being good at all. Not from Costco, but from a different store. And I was so bummed. So I was happy to see those, got those. And then I got these apples. These apples are organic. They taste so good and they're so cheap. Like this entire bag, I know it's like kind of hard to see like with the glare and everything and just the way it's like positioned, but it's a good size bag and it will last us the week. And I believe that was four, $4.99, it was $4.99. And like I said, they're just really good apples. I think Costco is like known for them <laughs> because I've seen many people get them. And then I got some mini cucumbers. Regular, usually I get the regular sized cucumbers, but um, I have really been craving these little ones. I like to dip them in hummus or chicken salad, tuna salad, um, like cottage cheese, just a lot of different ways to use them. So, and then not to mention my kids love them too. So I got those and then I got these mini sweet peppers. Usually I get their big bag of bell peppers and I can use them in so many different things, but uh, all the bags that they had there did not look very great. And they were a little bit more expensive, like closer to $7 and these were $5.99. So I went with those, they look a lot better. And that's it for my produce. But I'm going to jump down here. I got the eggs because Costco has the best deal on eggs. All 24 of these for $3.99. And then I love getting the rotisserie chicken. Every time I go, I get a rotisserie chicken. 
and I just can use it in so many days throughout the week just to like snack on or in like a last minute meal. I also sprinkle some on my dog's food for some extra protein and nutrients. And then I get their three pack of ground beef. This ground beef has so much flavor and is so delicious. And it actually comes with a lot. It's a little bit more than a pound and it's enough for my family and it like I said, just has like the best flavor and you get all three of these for like $20. It was like $19.98 or $19.89, something like that. And like I said, it's just really good ground beef. So I got some more of that. And then I told you that we were going to be doing some ravioli this week. And so Josh told me to look and see what kind of tortellini or ravioli they had at Costco today. And they had this butternut squash ravioli on sale for $8.86. So I went ahead and grabbed this. It sounded pretty good, maybe with some um, Alfredo sauce. Sorry, I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> it was at the tip of my tongue. I just couldn't get it out. And then I'm going to jump over to Le Carbs. Um, I get the two pack of bread. Both of these was $5.49 and that will last us the next two weeks. And then I found this pasta. It wasn't part of like my shopping list or meal plan, but I saw it and I thought I would give it a try. It'd be good to add in with like a last minute meal, just throw some sauce on it or like a lemon butter garlic sauce with, I don't know, some sort of meat or just some veggies or something. I like to have those types of things around. And like I said, with eating better, I am trying to eat more so low carb meals. And so I really wanted to give this a try. I can't wait to try it. And then we're doing some enchiladas this week. So I grabbed this. I This is $8, I believe, like $8.99 or $8.80 something. I can't really remember the full price. But it's around $8 and it comes with two packs. Let me see how many come in it all together. Six, 16. And we use tortillas in so many different ways. And um, we're gonna use one of, like I said, one of these packages for enchiladas this week. Okay, I'm gonna jump over here to the frozen stuff that I got. This chicken is so, so, so good. And it's pretty good chicken not just like in flavor but like health wise and it's olivia's favorite she asks for chicken all the time and this is the chicken that she means she doesn't even care about like chicken nuggets anymore or anything like that like she'll eat them if i have them but this is the chicken she always asks for so every time i'm at costco i go ahead and pick up another one of these because we go through it so fast and then they had these on sale for eight dollars how many does it come? Oh, eight. It says eight right there. Eight for eight dollars. Um, I don't really care for chicken pot pie, but like on nights that we are just doing whatever for dinner, um, or like leftovers. Josh isn't much on like big on leftovers, so he loves things that he can just like take out of the freezer and heat up. Or if there's like a night that I'm not home, that like never happens, but um, if we're having a lazy night, I picked these up specifically for that or like on the weekends, if he wants it for lunch or something, um, he'll probably be the only one to eat these, but I know he'll really like these cause I don't think I've ever bought these before. I know he loves chicken pot pie though. So, um, there's that. And then these pizzas were on sale. I love these little individual singles. They're perfect for the kids on, again, nights that we're just kind of doing whatever or on the weekends for lunch. And it comes with cheese and pepperoni. And um, they're just so fast and easy to make. And so I know that the kids like these, but I only like to get them like if they're on sale. And today they were, so I went with that. So over here, they had this on sale for $5. Well, it was $5.99, so I guess technically $6. And lately, Olivia has been going through cocoa so fast. I've been getting the boxes at the store, 
and she wants it like every morning and I'm having to get them with every shopping trip. And the next time I went to the store, I was just gonna get like the big tub of it rather than the packages. But I thought $5.99 was a really good deal for 50 packages. So um, I just grabbed one of those. And then they had these cereals on sale for $10 and you get three of them. And it comes with this one, this Christmas Crunch. I don't typically buy my kids Captain Crunch. Um, they don't really care about it much. They do like the Crunch Berries, so sometimes I'll get them that. Um, but I'm trying to make healthier choices for them as well, but also trying to still let them be kids and enjoy treats like this. So this was on sale for $10. We are out of cereal, so I went ahead and grabbed this, and I know that they're going to love it. And my child of a husband is going to love it too. He loves candy, sweets, cereals, all that stuff. So... And then I got these. My kids don't eat them much, surprisingly. I really like these. They're a good grab-and-go snack. It comes with a lot. And I can't. I think these were $10 as well, $9.99. I really like these. I know Josh will eat them in his lunch. I usually get protein bars, but protein bars are so expensive. And since I sprung for the protein drinks this time, I decided to just go with a granola bar to throw in his lunch rather than protein bars, which brings me down to the drinks. I did get, um, my mom had these, we've been dog sitting for her and she had these at her house and I tried one this morning and they tasted so, so good. And I remember when I was losing weight after I had Olivia, I was drinking these organ drinks a lot. Usually I'll make a protein shake at home with like protein powder, but protein powder is just as expensive as these. And when I make my shakes at home, I add more into them, like half a banana and I add like the uh, PB2 to it and, or just like all different kinds of fruits. And for some reason, I just don't feel like like as satisfied as when I drink one of these. And I think I lost a lot of weight drinking these as well because they are only like one gram of sugar and they taste good all on their own. I don't have to add anything to it. I might add like some chia seeds to it and blend it up with some ice or I'm, or, or they're easy to just grab and go as well. So um, I do kind of want to start going back to getting these rather than making the shakes at home. And plus when I'm running late in the morning, which is nine and a half out of 10 times. Um, I'm usually running late and don't have time to make a protein shake. So I like that I can just grab these and go and they taste really good. And then I don't usually ever get drinks like these. I used to get these for Josh a lot for his lunches. And now James is wanting lunch every single day. He doesn't want hot lunch. Avery will eat hot lunch and every now and then have me make her a cold lunch. And I've been getting the true lemonade packets um, to add to water bottles. And then before that I had some of the honest juice boxes, but the honest juice boxes were expensive and, um, they don't go in Josh's lunch. <laughs> so I got something that I could put in both of their lunches. These were a little bit more expensive, but they were on sale. Surprisingly, it was $15.99 for this pack. And then last but not least, I got a pack of water bottles. We can usually make these water bottles last two to three weeks. I try to, if the water bottle's in good condition, just refill it with my Brita filter at home. But, um, you know, sometimes it doesn't always work out that way. But like I said, about every two to three weeks, I get a new pack of water, which I don't think is too bad. So, that completes everything I got at Costco. Costco. 
Um, I have a very love-hate relationship with Costco. I love Costco so much that I hate it because I can spend way too much money. I did have like a $200 limit today and I technically went over that limit just by like $3, but since I had that $9 off, I was under. So that really helped out. And I feel like I got some really good deals at Costco today. I felt like they had a lot on sale of things that I would buy. But anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and uh, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.